Being an artist is a business. The artist is a business, and a lot of artists don't see themselves that way. And even in the, the 90s, a lot of us, we didn't see our individual selves as a business. Yeah, back then it was different than what it right. is now. And when, you, when you're a businessman and you see yourself as a business, it's, it's sort of like a, a, a lyric that Jay-Z said, I'm not a businessman, I'm a business man. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. So now, America, we get, we get America, we're going to get to the story. Yeah, we're going to get the to the spiel. story, the, the spill, the, 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 right. the, the crash out, I guess. What? But usually, like, even when I crashed out, when I did things where it made me to where I had to stop and look at my car, it helped me so much, bro. And I wouldn't trade it for the world. And I know it sounds crazy. Mm-hmm. Sit, sitting in those courtrooms, whatever I had to do to do what I had to do, Mm-hmm. I wouldn't change a thing because I wouldn't be who I am right now sitting at this table, bro. I think I feel the same way. And um, I, don't, I say that unapologetically, that we all have that road that we take in life, and your road defines you. And because the road defines you, it would be idiotic to not um, embrace and it. And, and be thankful for that road because that road defines you. Correct. I agree. So, <clears throat> with that being said, um, around 1997, you know, once I got with No Limit or whatever, we, we were traveling. Everything was doing, everything was, was great at that time. You know, financially, if for a young man, I was able to purchase a home and do a lot of stuff for my family that I dreamed of. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because we kind of... We grew up, I won't say poor, because I used to say poor, but as a mature and a, a mature adult, I feel that the word poor is misused by, um, by many of us because there are countries where there are people that are really poor that have to walk miles to get clean water. So, um, you know, just because I may have had this pair of shoes and not that pair of shoes doesn't mean we were poor. There are people that really don't have any food to eat and some people say, well, we got this beans and rice on the shelf. Well, you have beans and rice. There are some places that don't they have don't beans have bean and rice. rice. So I, I don't like to uh, misuse that word poor. But we grew up with, I would say, um, we grew up lacking in, in, in some things. But we had essentials. You know, we, we, were, we had a roof over our head. We had food on our um, table. We had clothes on our back. May have not been the best at times, but. You know, the dream is always to do better for your family. So I was blessed at 20, 21 years old to be able to take care and provide for my family. And I felt proud. Um, I think somewhere along the line in my immaturity at 21, 22 years old, I neglected um, to really get responsible about those variables. And I always allude to those variables because it's those things that I think we overlook, that we see, that's going on around us, particularly when they involve the people we love or friends. We overlook little things, and those little things add up. You know, it might be a little speck of dust here, but in about two months, it might be a pile of dirt. So we overlook it, we overlook it. And um, I think that for me, I got to a point where I was moving so... Um, freely and, and, and swiftly in my life I got comfortable and I think I neglected to uh, check those, those variables right because being an, an artist believe it or not is um, it's a business being an artist is a business the artist is a business and a lot of artists don't see themselves that way and even in the, the 90s a lot of us, we didn't see our individual selves as a business. Yeah, back then it was different than what it right. is now. And when, you, when you're a businessman and you see yourself as a business, it's, it's sort of like a, a, a lyric that Jay-Z said, I'm not a businessman, I'm a business man. And when you see yourself that way, then you're going to protect that business and you're going to make sure that, okay, everything is proper, everything is in order, and, and that's what you should do. Well, I think that because in my immaturity, I didn't, um, 
I didn't micromanage everything and everybody. And when you have certain elements in your surroundings, you have to be aware of them. And if they are not constructive, then they can only be destructive. But how can you micromanage everybody? Because especially it depends on how many people you have around you. Right. It's not possible for it's, you. To it's do. impossible. Right. So that once again goes to knowing yourself and keeping even that in check, not having everybody around people. you, as mm -hmm. many people around you. So, and, and, and then let me say for the record that I don't think that any of the people around me had nefarious intent with me. It was just those variables that we failed to keep in check and keep, right. you know, keep things in order. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.